What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Gonna continue back on over to those stairs, make our way, hopefully find Tommy, murder a few people, you know, the usual. Locked? Locked? I think not! You don't lock me out, bitch. I got an axe. How are we out on supplies anyway? We... I need to use some smoke bombs. Like, oh wait, I can make these? Hell yeah. Make the trap mines. There we go. I still do need to use my smoke bombs though. But I don't know if a smoke bomb would work at all on a uh, on an infected. You know, I don't. I don't think it would. Uh, usual place after curfew. Doing good though. Got uh got some good upgrades. I got my weapon holsters. Now I can see how much ammo I have at a glance. We got the trip mines and the smoke bombs and things are coming along. Just in case. Wait, what? You don't have a bow yet. What are you doing with the arrows? Wait, did I No? Yeah, I don't. Okay, whatever. I'll t I mean I'll take them. Arrows are arrows, but be nice if you, I mean I gotta be getting a bow soon. All the the trailers that like showed her with a bow, kind of looked like it was this foresty area. Big old explosion. Oh shit! Hope you did that, Tommy. I'm the Juke Master! Sit down, bitches. Now the real question. Ooh, I can do it again. Wait, no I can't! That's bullshit! Why can't you like re-upgrade re your axe and repair it or something? Damn, dude, I feel like every time I'm like, Oh yeah, this makes sense for, you know, a realism survival game. It's like, oh, nope, no, I'll slow down there. It's like the fucking guy from uh, Fallout that's like, now wait just a minute. You can't carry more than 12 bullets, sir. No, no, no. I know. You've already repaired that axe once. You can't put more duct tape on it. Like, bullshit, I can't. We'll duct tape the hell out of this axe. There's not much here. This was just a kill the infected and run on through type situation. Ew. That's a nasty hot tub. I mean, honestly, who leaves a hot tub open like that? Like, fuck, at least put a cover on that. I can't wait. Like, remember when I was, uh, when I bought my house, I really wanted a hot tub. And I ended up just, you know, buying a hot tub. But, um, one of the houses I was looking at had one. And they didn't even have a cover on this bitch. And, like, so we're walking around with the realtor. And they're like, oh, by the way, this house has a hot tub when we see it. And it look, it didn't look much better than that. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, is this supposed to be a selling point? This thing is basically a massive mosquito nest. God knows if any of it still works. I wouldn't want to turn it on. Like, I mean, at the bare minimum, if you're not going to cover it, you know, at least empty it out and like put a tarp on that bitch. Because like a well-maintained hot tub, that's that's easy resale value, man. Everyone always talks about how uh, got to them first. Oh, well, whatever. Like a pool, a pool on the other hand, never get a pool. Pools are what I like to call an attractive nuisance because it sounds great. They're like, oh, yeah, I'll get a pool in my backyard and I'll swim. And when I have kids, they'll swim. And we can cool off in the summer. Pools are a huge pain in the dick to maintain. You want to know what's great about hot tubs? You have a long day, grab a beer and soak in the hot tub. You have some friends over and you want to have some drinks and get off of me. Oh, you got the boat. Give me that boat. With a quick shot. That's my bow. You know, have a couple friends over, hang out in the hot tub, have a few drinks. Great time. And you want to know how easy it is to maintain a hot tub? I basically, I go out there twice a week, put a little cap full of chlorine. One bottle of uh, the chlorine chemical I use will last me 
three months. And when I have to get a new one, it's like 15 bucks. That's the majority of what you have to do to maintain a hot tub. That's it. Literally it. You just gotta put, put some chlorine in it. After I got out of the hot tub, I put a little sprinkle of shock in there. A bottle of shock will last me most of a year. Stuff lasts like forever. Um, and then like every three months, I'll dump it, flush out all the water, clean it down with like some dish soap, and then refill it back up. I think that's, that's, I mean, your filters, I replace the, the filters you can take out and rinse with the exception of the depth filter. Depth filter I'll replace every three months. That runs, uh, maybe 30 bucks. Uh, the main filters I replace once a year. That's maybe a hundred bucks. So, all in all, if we were to, to price this out, basically, it's going to cost me maybe... Maybe $200 a year to maintain a hot tub in perfect working condition. $200 over the course of a fucking year? That is nothing. And you get to enjoy a, a beer in a hot tub anytime you're having a bad day. And the best part, this is this is something I just started doing recently for the summer, right? Um, obviously, you, you think, oh, a hot tub's trash in the summer. You can't use it. Well, if you have like some basic bitch models, maybe. But most hot tubs, at least any decent hot tub, has a variable control in the heat and you can drop the heat down quite a bit so like right now my hot tub is set to about 85 and when it's crazy and like sweaty and sunny out 95 degrees an 85 degree hot tub feels amazing because it's like just sitting in some nice cool pool water you still got the jets on your back hey, absolutely fantastic a girl did you see her no but the fucking guy is nearby we're looking for two! Burn! <laughs> Sorry, doggo, it had to happen. You're telling me they real are for real? I want every building in the area searched. Not alone here. I tossed the Molotov and the only thing it killed was the dog. Let's go see what's up. Got your back. <gasps> Look! Over here. Okay, just, you know what? Just kill me. Just reset it. Just reset it. Toss the Molotov out. Really? Really? Threw out the Molotov and, and that's it? Just the dog? Uh, let's try that again. And then it resets into whatever. Ugh. That should have been a triple kill. Is that the guy with the dog? Oh, it is. Oh, my God. 
God. Just end it. Jesus Christ. Rifle shot directly in the heart. Dude didn't die. Come on. smart here I think I'm supposed I think the game wants me to use the bow to go through all this Damn, Ellie. waiting for me damn there's a lot more than i thought there would be i'm gonna have to to be very Extra sneaky. 
apparently they have an entire freaking platoon. I was holding it. I don't know what happened. Damn. Messed up. Basement is just brutal, dude. Maybe I just don't even. We don't have anything. <gasps> don't. <laughs> Gotta play stealth. It's the only way. Well, I, guess, I mean, I could go in guns blazing, but as many as there are, I will be burning through ammunition trying to do it. The guy and the dog. It's Zoe. She fucking killed her. Find her quick.
No, no, fuck! Smoke bomb! Renting. Good now. She's right there. Good now? What? Those are clean headshots. This is another guy and dog combo.
Where's she at? Like, I could hear her footsteps, but I don't know where she's at exactly. I'm running out of arrowheads pretty fast here. Um, this is good for a little bit. Pretty tricky combat sequence there. I think a lot of it was the the spawn I had because I just had a spawn where it was like I'm gonna fight one guy immediately, and then there's a guy and a dog, and then there's like three more. Just had to uh, find the right combination of run and gun to get past all that bullshit. Thankfully, this one house helped out quite a bit with the uh, the upstairs portion, just doing loops. But with that done, we just gotta let's go around, collect all the goodies, and uh, yeah, we'll be good. <laughs> I think we, I think we actually did a pretty good job of looting. This leads upstairs into that area that we did a majority of our fighting. Right? Doesn't it? Oh. Maybe. Let me make sure this is the same house. Yep. Yeah, it is. Okay. Looks like I have to go this way anyway. I have to leave that ammo behind. I'm gonna guess that as soon as I jump down, um, shit's probably gonna go off. Let's check around here. Yeah. All right. Well, before I get caught in another uh, combat loop here from dying over and over again, um, I'll wrap things up. We'll continue this on in the next part. I think there's still probably at least one more episode before we meet up with Tommy. So. Either way, I will catch you all soon enough. See you guys then.